Hello guys, let's do another sample problem on how to calculate the equilibrium concentrations if we know the equilibrium constant. So here I have the steps laid out and the practice problem. So at 600 degrees Celsius, the equilibrium constant Kc is 51.5 for the reaction of H2 plus Cl2 gas, giving us two moles of HCl gas. Let's calculate the equilibrium concentration concentrations for H2Cl2 and HCl if we start with 2.5 moles of H2 and 4 moles of Cl2 in a 1 liter container. All right, let's take a look at the steps to figure out how to solve this question. First, we need to balance the equation and write the equilibrium expression. Well, if we look at the equation, it's actually already balanced. We have one mole of H2 and one mole of Cl2 gas forming two moles of HCl. Now we need to write out the equilibrium expression. So Kc equals, we first look at the products, right? So the concentration of HCl squared divided by the concentration of H2 multiplied by the concentration of Cl2. Now we need to tabulate all known concentrations in a rice table. So the reaction is already there. Uh, we have the hydrogen gas, Cl2 gas, and the two moles of HCl gas. So let's add the concentrations that we know. So we know the starting concentrations of H2, right? It's two and a half moles, and we have a one liter container. So it's 2.5 mole per liters. So let's add that, 2.500. Then we have 4 moles of Cl2, 4.000 moles. And how much do we have of the product at the beginning? Zero, right? So then the next step is that we need to use the stoichiometry of the reaction to determine the changes. And here we have an X. So this basically will mean that in the equation, the chemical equation, I'm going to find the reactant or the product of which I have one mole of. Okay, so you can see that I have one mole of H2, one mole of Cl2 forming two moles of HCl. So I'm going to define one of the one moles as the change as X. So if I use up X amount of H2, so minus X, then I'm also going to use up X amount of Cl2 because their ratio is one to one in the equation. And because I form two moles of HCl, in this case, the change is going to be plus 2X. All right, I hope this makes sense. Now, since we are done with that, we need to move further. We also have to express the equilibrium concentrations using these changes. So if I had two and a half mole per liters at the beginning and I had a change of minus X, my equilibrium concentration will become 2.500 minus X. In case of Cl2, it's going to be 4.000 minus X. And in case of two moles of HCl, it's going to become 2X. And then I can substitute the equilibrium concentrations into the equilibrium constant expression to solve for X. So now let's take a look at the expression that we wrote out at the beginning of this video. So here we have on top the concentration at equilibrium of HCl, the product. So I can use simply 2x to substitute for that. So my Kc will equal to 2x squared, right, because this is also squared right here, divided by the equilibrium concentrations of H2 and Cl2. So I'm going to use these equilibrium concentrations right here. So 2.500 minus x multiplied by 4.000 minus x. And this whole expression actually equals to 
51.5 because that was given to me in the question. Now, if you have an equation solving calculator, you can solve this equation directly for x. And if you do that, you are going to come up with two roots. And out of those two roots or two solutions, only one will be chemically meaningful. So if you solve this expression right here, your x is going to be 2.269 or 4.778. And now we have to think about which root makes actual sense. So let's say that if we use 4.778 as our solution for x, and then I want to calculate the equilibrium concentration for H2 right here, then I would do 2.500 minus 4.778, right? These are all molarities. I would get a negative value. Can I have negative concentrations? No, I cannot, right? So this solution has no real chemical meaning. So I can just simply forget about that. So the solution for X is 2.269. Okay, so we figured this out. Now we can use this x to actually calculate the equilibrium concentrations that we were tasked to do. And I'm going to do that on the next slide. So here I already have my x defined and I also know the changes right here. So simply in order to calculate the equilibrium concentration of H2, I'm going to take 2.500 mole per liters minus 2.269 mole per liters, and I'm going to get 0 0.231 mole per liters. And I can simply substitute this value right here, so 0 0.2. Three, one. I'm going to do that for Cl2 also, so 4 minus 2.269, and I'm going to get 1.731, and then in order to calculate HCl, I'm just going to multiply my x, 2.269 by 2, and add it to 0, and I'm going to get 4.538. All right, now we have the equilibrium concentrations, and at this point, we can double check our work. We can go back and substitute these values into our equilibrium expression. So we know that Kc equals to the concentration of HCl squared, right? divided by the concentration of H2 gas multiplied by the concentration of Cl2 gas. And all of these are at equilibrium. So now I can simply plug in the values. So first the concentration of HCl, so 4.538 squared divided by 0 0.231 and multiplied by 1.731. So I simply substituted in all these values. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 51.5, which is exactly the same value that was given to us in the question. You can always double check your work, but if you are doing an exam, for example, and if you are running out of time, it's not extremely necessary. Just make sure that your solution for X makes sense. All right. I hope this whole calculation made sense. See you in the next video.